So last <laughs> night my wife was complaining <laughs> that I never listened to her or something like that. <laughs> hey, Earl. Hey. Jason said while you were doing the where we're all at, I got to do this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Flip it around. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? Mardi Gras Man 2-3 here. And I'm Earl. It's time for another A Fool podcast. And we are actually on schedule this week. For those of you who don't know, last week we were way off. We had no notes. We were on a different day. <laughs> and we still lasted two hours. So <laughs> we've got notes this week. Lord, no, help us. Oh, <laughs> boy, do we. <laughs> so this is Joey's channel. That's Brick Trains over there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there he is. There he is. I'm We're easy. In his basement I'm... in this Bricklink store. And down below, that's an easy one. It's Javo. Everybody knows Brick Star. Yeah. Brick Star. AKA man. Brick Star. <laughs> uh, shoot. Yeah. Spelled my name wrong again. <laughs> uh, so, so, where do you want to go first? Well, so I was having a, a really nice day at work with. No truck that worked, and I was in oh. the garage all day. And then I get a message from somebody on Instagram asking me <laughs> about variants. And I'm like, you talking about Loki? <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, I like the alligator variant. Yeah. And I was like, you know, they just asked my thoughts, and I told them my thoughts because we'd already been talking about this. Right. Amongst ourselves. Right. Well, then I saw when I got on YouTube, RR Slugger had posted a video about it. Mm -hmm. And there, then I got an email from Bricklink. And I think everybody that's a seller, I don't know if buyers get them, but sellers got an email about variants. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, it must be buyers too, because I have it both in my Gmail and my oh, okay. other. So it shouldn't, only one of them is attached to my seller yeah. account. Yeah. yeah. So. so this is the, like the third time in 2024 that i've looked at a forum again because i don't get i don't nosedive into them i just kind of skim over them right and i was like did i miss something <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so they, they sent out a list today of some of the things that they are kind of going to be changing on bricklink inventories and the concern as a vintage collector mm -hmm. not as a seller as a vintage collector the concern is there are certain variants that were not invented in certain eras. And if you have a complete set, you wouldn't have the modern variant. Right. Correct. Like tiles. Right. Some, some grills. Um, uh, open stud. Now, they didn't have anything about open and closed stud bricks. They did have about minifigure heads. Yeah. <laughs> And so, like, when I was collecting vintage minifigures, they were always solid stud. So, you can have a plain, smiley-faced minifigure that has a solid stud. And it could be modern era. It could be the vintage era. But it definitely, in the vintage era, it wouldn't have a blocked or recessed opening. So, it's things, it's things right. that yeah. we're thinking, like, you know, these guys... I'm, I'm not summarizing this in the most efficient way, but basically people have worked for almost 25 years in getting the BrickLink inventory up. Volunteers mm -hmm. for the most part. Mm -hmm. And is this, some of this going to be wiped out? That's what Slugger's concern was. Right. Um, I'd been piecing together the Terrace house at 353. It has solid, um, it has tiles without groove. Right. Yeah, they have. They don't have any dance moves. They have no groove. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'll know that. But it's like, do I need to download every vintage inventory now? Are the inventories going to change? Is what I want to. I don't know if they are going to change. I just don't know if you'll be able to list things in certain categories that they're changing the variants. Right, and I'm. <sighs> Or, or when, when we, everybody keeps saying changing the variants, are they really changing the variants or are they just consolidating the variants? Yeah, they're consolidating them into one lot. And the, it, it does look ridiculous when you, there's, a, there's a list 
And if you, the one for the minifigure heads just goes on and on and on and on and on and on because <laughs> there's so many <laughs> different variants, and is there just consolidate and there will only be the smiley face, I guess, instead of all the different variants of the stud on on the top of the minifigure head. Uh, there's the frosted bricks are going away, which I don't understand that one because that's one that's easy to see a difference, a frosted transparent brick and a not frosted brick. Um, okay. So let's look. So there's like, what is there? Frosted bricks. Okay. So there's one, two, can you pull the three, list up? Is yeah, I guess I could show it. There's uh, not a whole lot on there. So it's in and, and well, to me, there's not a lot to get up in arms about on the list. Okay, so this is the from this is the link oh. from from Bricklink this today. This is what they sent out today, and this will so, go in effect February fifteenth, as it says up there. Right. So frosted so, bricks. <laughs> and okay, the, way, yeah. the reason they sent this list is go ahead and put your text next to your listing because these are going to go away. So okay, here, all right, so. Okay, so you like got the you 3005s have... and 3004s. So, can you look at this as a vintage, a true vintage collector and say all of these parts are pre no whatever year? And, 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 and that's that's a good argument in that I don't think anybody could ever 100% say like the basic parts like plates and bricks are from the right era because... The, the, like a brick could look similar for like 10 years, but just because right. you got a one by four red brick in your set doesn't mean that brick was made when that set was, you could have one that was made after. Now there's modern things that are totally different than like a, the, with the two by four bricks, the old ones didn't have supports on the tubes. So are, are those going to, going to go away eventually? I don't know. Right. Yeah. And this whole thing with the frosted, I. If anybody doesn't know, and see, this is the thing: a lot of these people may not know that there ever was a variant. They might just say, "Oh, that's a right. that's a, a clear brick," and well, oh, look, it's got a little bit of frosting on it, on the inside. Right. Frosted interior. Well, and that's what I, I was just looking at it. You know, I was looking at the very first one, the one by one, frosted. So I guess my question is, was it done the original frosting? What is it? Is in one set? This one was in a Dacta set. Yeah. So was it done for aesthetic purposes or is this some sort of mold? That's the thing. I don't know with some of the colors like this. Right. If it was just the process they made those in a particular time. Um, but I... Like I collect two by four bricks in different colors, and sometimes you play top dollar <laughs> for one. So I have two by four bricks in trans red and trans red frosted. Right. Um, you won't be able to list those separately unless you have a you put a note in your listing. So th what they're doing is they're put instead of having a inventory where you can choose when you're listing your stuff. It's just going to be all one thing. And it's up to you to put a text in your listing that it's right. different. Right. Okay. So yeah, I guess. I... So this is really, it's really more of a disadvantage to the buyer. It's a, it's a seller. different, it's a disadvantage to the people that care. Well, that yeah, but I mean, right when I say the buyer, I mean if you're selling it and you've got a frost, you've got you just list it as one thing. But if you're looking for a particular item, you might have to go through six or ten sellers to find the variant that you actually want. And and even th when you find the seller, <laughs> there's chances are it's he he might not even have listed it right. Right. Well, yeah, that's the other thing, right? Is it is it? Uh... So my favorite thing was undetermined type. Right. You know that the official headlight brick for the tipper truck is the undetermined type. <laughs> I'm like, that's right. <laughs> how how is that the official one? Right. We we don't know what it was. Is what it basically boils down to. 
Yeah. Okay. I can't. I guess I need to quit looking at these because I keep yeah. trying to see well, the difference. Well, there's some. There's some like the chair with the sprue mark. That okay, one there's I no had already gone away. Yeah, and it. Okay, so I know the little little. I call it the washing machine brick, but the other people call it the headlight brick, mm -hmm. where they had the, the they had slot. the slot. Yeah. yeah, and that's even one they called out in the original. The but it's not on this list. It's not on this list because it's already been done. Yeah. Yeah. This well, has happened before. They've done this. Yeah. It just seems like they've got a bunch of them this time. Uh, it, it, one of the ones on here, the one I, I messaged y'all about, the uh, hinge brick with teeth. Scroll down. Can you scroll? Is, it, it doesn't, unfortunately, it doesn't have pictures. Right. Well, what's the, do you know, uh, when you see it, let me know and I'll. X shape axle holes. See, that's a yeah, one yeah. that there. I don't. I don't see a reason that they should have kept doing what they did there. But yeah, here I mean, there's I, seven or nine teeth. So okay. it's a, it's like a one by two brick that's got the two little pieces on the end, and they they got you know how it, it, it's like inner. It's um, stepped like when you move your hinge, it kind of goes click 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 when you move it. Right. Well, let um, me look at. I never oh. knew. This is one of those that. I never knew there were variants. I never paid attention. Right. I didn't Fine. care enough to pay attention. So I, it's very likely that I, w I have some listed incorrectly. Ah. I hate it when it does <laughs> there it that. Is. So somebody counted the uh, the little teeth on that on the hinges. Right. They're like it's like a little mini gear. Mm -hmm. And now they're gonna. Now they're consolidating those, yeah, right? Based seven on one teeth and the nine teeth. Okay, so but these are all different part. Okay, so is that it's a different part number because it's a different color, maybe. No, it, well, let's look three nine eight nine three. Let's well, there's different. Eight. There's different number of hooks on them. The fingers. Some some have one finger. Some have two fingers. Some have fingers on both sides. So right. Well, one. but so this is the seven teeth version of this one right so so in other words if you're building a set and that's in your wanted list you may get a 17th or you may get a 90 yeah which is probably would have happened all along anyway right that's one of those that i don't know if people knew that there was a variant right exactly but the 17th okay, so, apparently is the more mm -hmm. modern one so if you're trying to complete a set that's older, you might want the nine teeth if you cared. Well, that so, is getting down to the de fine details right there. <laughs> and I'll give you an example how Lego, I've always known that Lego, the company, didn't care because you could go on bricks and pieces and pull up things like the ca cafe corner. I don't know if you can still pull it up. When I was piecing together the cafe corner, you could pull up the part list and see what was currently available. Oh, okay. And so they had parts available for sale for the cafe corner that I know were the wrong parts. It was the modern equivalent, like a panel. Things right. Because like the, the modern ones have the rib in it, and then the, yeah. the old ones don't. But that is an aesthetic, because that made yeah. you don't want to use the rib <sighs> okay. So I I, 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 I think this is not as big a deal. I think yeah, you're stuff right. like like this right here. I it's agree. not that big. I don't think it's as big a deal as some people will make it out to be. I, I would say that everything that's on this list, I don't really care about. Now, if, if it was a, the older minifigure heads. Now, if it was a glaring difference, like the tile with a with a lip or a tile with a no lip. Yeah. Maybe Good you Lord, know. But you know, there's going to come a time when people won't even know that unless so these are the blocked open stuff. These are the ones you were talking about with yeah. the Yeah. <sighs> so, <laughs> what is driving this? Is it Oh, this thing oh, that's, the, that's uh, the dome, yeah. Uh, that yeah, that I hate that one too. So that that one I don't Yeah, personally I don't care. Like if I would, yeah, right. But, but there's, there's, you'd have to go th with a fine tooth comb. There's probably somewhere in this list somebody selling a part for like twenty dollars. Right. <laughs> it only appears in one set. 
Right. So there's the and that that's, variant. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. So this is the blocked open stud you, version. So and, apparently there's an open stud version of this one somewhere too. And, and I've I, I've parted out sets or mm -hmm. built sets that had different variants of the same part in the same color. Okay, so wait a minute. This one here doesn't show that there's a variant. Right? Because it would list it right in this area well, that there was a variant. Maybe yeah. maybe they're just getting rid of some of the text. Maybe they're just it's not going to be blocked open stud anymore. It's just going to be that part. That's your okay, I think you get you're, you're on to something. Yes. So that one that part is probably only available in that, but they're not going to have that that description in the in the part. So th th that makes it even seem less bad. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like there aren't, I mean, there's not one with a solid, one with a solid stud doesn't exist. So why are yeah. we wasting our time? Yeah, that, 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 that actually makes sense. Well, that's <laughs> to me, that's not getting rid of a variant. That's just cleaning up your database. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Blocked open stuff, but then uh, it doesn't show that there's another. There's variant. no variant. Yeah. Never was a variant. All right. So yeah, we're uh, we we we're 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 coming off the ledge. We're not about to jump. Yeah. So we're 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 going to be a couple weeks late on this, guys. But trust no, we're me, not. It, this doesn't go in fact to the fifteenth. Oh, okay. right. Yeah, well, we'll actually well, be on time today. news. People already posted videos. So well, we're going to okay. post a correction video. <laughs> so, so, so remember, we're we're always the latest news. Yeah. <laughs> We didn't have a knee-jerk reaction. That's right. <laughs> if anything, we were completely overwhelmed by the news yeah. several days or weeks before this <laughs> today. It was like, okay, ho hum. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, this is weird. I got I got emails, Instagram messages, multiple Instagram messages today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this is something we'd been talking about for right. Well, and then you know, like and three weeks, Brian. Yeah, Brian's been, you know, <laughs> maybe we maybe we started all this a while back when we started talking about those clips. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that well, that's what it was, and like th there is a certain frustration as a collector and as a seller and a buyer and all that with the cer certain variations. But so they're not going to get rid of ones that are important. I don't think. I don't yeah. think so either. I, I surely not. I. And it, so what's driving this? Uh, to, to me, it's got to be some sort of, there's probably a problem between buyers and sellers somewhere that BrickLink is either seeing or having to deal with because one or the other didn't know, yeah. right? Oh, I got an open stud minifig head or something and I didn't, you know. Well, it, I rented about that. Right. The, with the, uh, the one by one round bricks. It's like, there's a there's a order of magnitude price difference. It's like like ten, ten times it costs ten times more to get one with a closed stud or more right. than one with an open stud. Right. So do you ever do you ever think um, when you're parting a set out or building a set and you get the studs, the little one by one rounds with the hole in the top or the one yeah. by ones with the solid stud? Why are they still making the solid studs? Um, Probably I, for aesthetics. I mean, it looks yeah, different. I know, but they're not used as much anymore as they used to be, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I don't. I, I, I see them. Open. I had a set that had both. I was parting it out. It had both of them in the same color in the same set. Well, maybe it had an Apollo not. stud and a solid stud. Yeah. I was maybe, like, it's what? Internal, maybe it's internal versus external on the model or something. I just think it, it depends on if you need to put a yeah, a bar in it. Yeah, if you need to yeah, put but a bar you don't. I mean, I get them all the time. You don't ever hardly put bars in them. No, you don't. I mean, and mocks you might do it a lot, but yeah. in set building, so. And it's an easy one. Well, I guess I could say it's an easy it, one to confuse to somebody who's not really paying attention. Yeah. Like I, I can see Heather getting mixed up. My wife yeah. getting mixed up. And I think for most variants that are already out there. Most of them are extreme enough to worry about. Right. I, I, I'll give you an example. I was, and maybe this is where it came up. I was picking Brian's order and he had paid 
I think it was close to panels or something like that. And, um, right. I re- I was like, wait a minute, I got two different types of panels. And I looked at the price and I was like, you know, if they were the same price, I wasn't worried about it. But the ones he bought were more expensive. And I'm like, I've mixed these up. Mm-hmm. And then I was able to find, you know, and so I sent him the correct ones and then fixed my inventory. But it's like, I'd probably say most people probably wouldn't even cared, but I cared because it was a price difference. Right. <laughs> even as the seller. And I was like, I don't want to rip somebody off that he might. Right. Well, that's what I'm wondering if that's what's driving this. If Bricklink is seeing some kind, if it's causing them an issue or if there's got sellers or buyers that are complaining because of something, I would think it would be more of a buyer who is looking for something specific and keeps getting the wrong part. And we've played that game many times and me and, you know, we just know and just kind of suck it up, buttercup. It is what it is. Not all sellers pay attention. So maybe this is just part of them cleaning that up. I don't see that as a bad thing. Yeah. And, you know, with this this head, it looks like they're just going to remove the... Unnecessary text. Yeah. Okay. That's uh, It's a lot of effort for something that may not have much value at the end of the day. Um yeah. But you know, you mentioned it too at the beginning. You said this is a you know, and I've seen it in some posts and some comments you know, that this is you know, this is a hard-earned community-driven database that was built from the ground up and I you know, great on everybody. It was it would have never existed if it hadn't have been that way. Mm-hmm. But when you do anything by committee like this, you're going to these little things like this will creep in. Yeah. Right. Some, the, yeah. There's going to be the mistakes. There's yes. going to be disagreements on what you should yes. put. Yes. Um, so it, in the end, somebody's got to make the decision. I mean, you got to keep the website going. Yep. I think everybody would agree we want the website to continue. Yes. Be functional. Mm-hmm. And yes, uh, I I agree with the thing that R.R. Slugger said in his video that I don't want old databases to get erased. I don't think that's what's going to happen. Yeah. But. It would be sad. <laughs> yeah, but I don't also don't think it's as bad as everybody ha- is yeah. knee jerking on. All the uh, all those like for my collecting purposes, all those parts, right? Those are modern parts. Right. The ones so they have. When whenever new sets are parted, somebody has to part it out the first time and input all the data for a new set, right? Yeah. That's the way well, I understand it. Yeah. And some and sometimes it's like new sets take a while to get uploaded. Yes. So what happens with the new pieces? So if, a, if this set has a, has new pieces in it, who is who instigates putting uh, the new so pieces in the BrickLink database? There used to be the uh, individual users would do it. I think they're importing them directly and they usually hold them. Like, you can't submit a data uh, uh, inventory for a set is officially released <laughs> whereas in the past you probably could have and then like that's always like a frustration when I, I got like there was those uh, parts packs I had to wait till the inventory went through the approval process right before I could add them so what's a set that has just something new that's come out that Let's go with this one. Let's see if it's in there. The 40681. I don't know if that's set. I want to see who submitted this inventory, if it's in there yet. Okay, it is. 302 parts. So where is that at that shows? At the bottom of the inventory. Yeah, okay. There it is. Item added January 1st by Trez. Trez, yeah. And then Camel City BH supplied the weight, the dimensions. Who did the inventory? Does it was it just? Oh yeah, it's just uh, the item and the image was added, not the uh, inventory. Right. So. Oh wait, there it is. Uh, Camel City BH inventory this set on January eighteenth. Camel. It's at the. T- it's above all that. Okay. So. Okay. So I guess that's still uh, these. I don't know if those are sellers. Well, the change log doesn't show. Okay. I don't know. Well, why would they? I guess my point to this is 
Yeah, True Z added the item to the catalog. True Z supplied a small image. True Z supplied a large image. Camel City BH supplied a weight. Camel City BH supplied items to mention. I don't see where he or anybody. Above, you you got to look above. Above right what? below the part the the part to inventory. Oh, way at the top of the sheet. No, not at the top of the sheet. It's right below where the the total of the parts. There's a. It's, it's got well, a standalone on. line. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me do this, and then you can tell me to scroll up or scroll down. I keep forgetting I'm not sharing. Okay. Okay, okay so I'm at the top. Go to inventory. Go Set to inventory. the image. Okay. And scroll down. Okay. I see. I was on the wrong page. <laughs> and well, there's your problem. There's your problem. <laughs> You ain't got no loose nut on the keyboard. Yep. Pebcad problem exists between keyboard and chair. Right below this. There it is. Inventory. There it is. Okay. So so who is that? I don't know. You can, they, got a, would, they got a me page. Go click to the me page and find out. We are a couple in NC. Let's build them together. So it's, it's just regular. Somebody people. just did it. Yeah. Why are they not pulling that inventory from? Or from Lego. Maybe somebody wanted to get it up there quicker. Okay. All right. Well, that that's... <clears throat> but, so, anyway, <laughs> I think when it's done by individuals, there could be a mold variant in a part, and you don't catch it. Sure. Because you just assume it's the same part. I've done that. And I I tell you, one of the, the parts in my store that is it's screwed up, and at this point, I really don't care is the two by three inverted slope. Okay. That's <laughs> one of them that was on the original. Yes. Yeah. And it's not on this one though, but it's like, I was putting parts away and it's like, I've never had anybody complain. I can't worry about it anymore. The price isn't that different. Right. But there are, there's a different mold variant for that part with the little things connecting the studs. And it's like, right. I can't, I can't worry. I know all my parts are modern. Like it maybe it may may make a difference to somebody who's doing a vintage set, but I don't have any vintage parts, so right. I'm not worry about it. Well, it might it might matter to somebody in ten years, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I guess that the part doesn't have I, well. So basically, if you if you care, right, you got to ask now every yeah. time. If you're if you don't care, specific, it doesn't matter. Right. <laughs> if you're looking for a specific mold. Then, well, and, yeah. and as far as modern, you might not even know. Yeah, right. I can't tell you how many times I didn't realize there was a variant. I, I didn't look at it. I mean, I don't have that great a vision to begin with, but <laughs> is it that we're just getting that old, and there's just that few of us anymore? That with the, the people, I, you know, I'm being serious. I mean, I kind of started that out as a joke, but I, I mean, well, does. Like you keep saying, the modern bricks is nobody. Yeah. Nobody cares yeah. about the older ones as much. Yeah, and it's like when I piece together a vintage set, um, I would want it to have parts close to the era, but I can't even a hundred percent. I have people all that ask me, "How do I know this brick was made in 1974?" I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> so okay. <laughs> Here's here's a variant that I that you, and you just you just said it, the pat pending yeah. pat pending blobbed and yeah. uh, well uh, the so tip those, on the side should all be part of something. Right. But those are no those are not tracked in Bricklink. No. No, and then, and to me that's like that's an easy way to kind of get a ballpark of eras. It's it's a time frame. It gives you yeah. a time frame. But Bricklink no. never tracked it, and they, if they. Mm -hmm. No, nobody cared to track it. Yeah, and and here's the thing: like if you're looking at a a two by four brick that was made in 1963, right? It's worth less than one made today. Like a red two by four mm -hmm. brick manufactured in 1963 in new condition, probably <laughs> <laughs> would be worth less than one today, and not as usable. <laughs> That's true. Mm -hmm. Especially if it was cellulose acetate. It's, uh, if, yeah, exactly. So uh, there's things that doesn't really matter. So like when I'm piecing together a vintage set, I I, I think the one thing I look for if it, if it and even then I don't 
100% do it. But if it's got the sprue marks on the side, if it's a brick with the sprue mark on the side, right. I know that's a vintage brick. Right. But that's not even in the inventory. No, no, no. But if you're building a set from the 70s, all your bricks should have, and your plate should have sprue marks on the side. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, again, it's like, Am I going to worry about it? If I built a tipper truck that has modern one by two yellow bricks in it? No, I'm not going to worry about it. No. Because the parts that are unique to that set or from that era, they don't make them anymore. So, Right. I know those parts are right. <laughs> so what are you, what, everybody in the, the comments below, what are your thoughts on this? Are you, is, is, the, is the hoopla died down since the right this was posted yeah. by Bricklink <laughs> on the 24th the original post was on january 9th 9th yeah and we're posting this on before february 15th yes so well let us know <sighs> the very All right, Joey, let's talk about your builders club gifts this is far more interesting than what we've just been talking about. <laughs> let is. me guess, you, you got it right there. I do! Look at here. <laughs> okay, so the first one was... so. Okay, so I got this box mm -hmm. from Barnum. Did, did, was the, was that box, did, did it have an address on it? Like it was shipped like that? It has... Was it, yeah, it looks like somebody had peeled it. It definitely has shipping... Okay, postage. okay, go ahead. Okay, so this one came with just the single set in it, right? I can't get it out. All right, so it, it came with this nice little cool, what is this, 6503? It's a little shell race car. Mm -hmm. We think this is the gift that you got you possibly when you joined the Brick mm -hmm. Builders Club or Brick Kicks or whatever. What's pretty the, the Builders Club. That little box is like that little box was made for that little set. It, it right, oh, yeah. But they used to Lego used to produce a lot of sets that came in these little boxes. Oh, there were a lot yeah. of sets. Yeah, yeah there sets. was. So then the other, the other, right is here's another box, Lego Builders Club, and you can see the label was peeled mm -hmm. off right there. Okay, and this is welcome to the Lego Builders Club. But this one has a far more in it. Not only does it have a little race car set, but it had all of the accoutrements, all the whoops, the yeah, the paper and stuff. Yeah, the catalogs, the iron on. That's what I got when I signed up for the Brick Builders Club. So it, I would have been in like '93 or '94. I was not. I didn't get in on early with that, right. and I. So I got a box like that. I know I got a box like that. I know I got the graph paper. Yep. The catalogs. So um, the graph paper came in an envelope. Or I I have an envelope, which I, I left in the other room. Silly me. Uh, but it had all the paperwork in it, but no set. Which mm -hmm. is wondering, which is what I'm wondering is if it, this it, was it not came, maybe they packaged them differently and then Depending on what year you signed yeah, that's up. What I'm say. Depending on what year. It may have all just depended on what mood Susan Williams was in. Yes. We should get her on the podcast. We should get her on the podcast. That would be awesome. If anybody has Susan Williams' number. <laughs> I'm still salty about that, you know. Are you? I mean, you didn't have like a little crush on her or something. That was like, you found out she's not real. It's like... <gasps> Lego was catfishing us the whole time. Catfishing us the whole time. I'll be scared, Ben. Signing it. Sign my catalog. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So I guess talking about this vintage stuff, I guess I could I guess I can talk about it. I didn't put it in the show notes yet, but we have everybody remember David Davison? David David yeah, Davis. Yeah, David, Davis. David Davis. He's tracked down the um. Uh, shoot. Uh, marketing manager from the 1960s and 70s in uh, Denver. Uh, he worked at Samsonite, so mm -hmm. he was the one that was over the the contest that David Davis. Check out that link. I'll try to put it. Remember to put a link in the show notes or in the description. 
uh, from that podcast. So uh, we're, I'm trying. I'm trying to get him on. I want to hear his story. Um, yeah. I was, I was talking to Jason of Jason's Bricks and Five fame in the Bricking News because uh, he's been to Denver a couple times and, mm-hmm. and he, he he had just recently went to the Loveland and stuff. And he said there's uh, one of the Bricks and Minifigs, the girl lady, sorry, that I guess works there, runs it or whatever, is trying, I think she's trying to write a book about it. And mm-hmm. she oh, knows a few people, yeah, that are still alive out there from that time. So is this person that, because, uh, you know, is it David Davis? <laughs> David Davis. He he's older than us. Yes. And he was a kid, right? Yes. At this time, and for those who don't know, he he probably was the first fan designer that got a a set, the life yeah. serial. I'm mm-hmm. sure he was. <laughs> and so anybody that worked for Lego is going to be like a lot older than us. <laughs> <laughs> He is, yeah. They're gonna be our parents' age. I wonder if he can answer questions like we were, like, you know, we got all these parts left. Let's just let's just make these random boxes. Could we send them? Like, if he if he didn't want to get on for an interview or a phone call, send him some questions and see if he can answer them. Yeah, I'm hoping. I haven't got a reply back from the email. Did did he Uh, get a reply from? Because the email he sent just was like that he. Hey, Dave, David's been talking to him, so yeah. uh, he's been he's been the liaison, and he just basically turned it over to me. To, I haven't got a reply. I actually have his phone number. I just hate to call him. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's this. You know, I, you I go, don't want to be why, that. Why do people want to talk about this? Well, but I'm also concerned that I don't want. There's too many uh, people who are trying to scam, or. Oh, you know, older, older people. people. Yeah. yeah. And I don't want any, I don't want anybody to think that's what we're trying to do. Yeah. You know, I just, we just want to talk. We just want to hear your side of it. But yeah, I mean, if he'd answer questions, that'd be great too. So, yeah. Uh, I wonder if he would know anything about like the, the, the promotional things like your train, your 113 right. train, like right. how many of those would have been made? Oh my goodness. Would have been one for every store or just a few stores that got them? Or were there other things that we haven't even seen yet? I mean, what if you had? Oh, like all the information. Arcade. Yeah. There's, I'm sure there's things we haven't seen. Yeah. I'm sure of that. I, I want to ask him about, so mine, I want to ask about the Scotty dog, right? So you've seen the little, the, uh, it was a salesman sample where I have the two bricks in the bag. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. You, you probably got one behind you somewhere. There's a Scotty dog that yeah. looks just like that was made out of red brick. Um, and came in the same kind of little package. I would love to hear the story about it. would love to have one, but yeah, yeah. it would Samsonite. I'm not sure why <laughs> it, it, uh, it fascinates me so much, but it does. <laughs> Yeah, quality. <laughs> uh, it's one of the jobs somewhere in there, perhaps. Well, so there's a there. Yeah, so there's a. That's an interesting thing that I would like to ask because there is probably no doubt that they thought they were doing a really good job, mm-hmm. right? At well, yeah, Samsonite's point, Brad. Samsonite's. Pro- I think they're still around for luggage, right? Sure. Yeah. So you are. couldn't survive that long if you didn't have some idea of quality. Right, right. So but there's definitely a lack of it. <laughs> there, was, there was definitely, yeah. Mm. Well, okay. What about these 1977 catalogs and these punch holes? Yeah. So I watch, obviously, we all watch a lot of Jabo's videos, and he has a <laughs> lot of vintage instructions. And we always have mentioned about the, they have. A bunch of them have holes punched in them. Yes. Why are there so many people interested in putting their instructions and in binders in so, the seventies? Well, is ah. there is there a Lego binder out there that was made for instructions? Oh, that would be cool. I've never I seen mean, it. But... I've never seen it. Yeah. I know. So it's... these binders are 
not like the typical three ring binder. No, like no two there, ring binder. I, and I know we I've had um, my grandpa worked at a furniture company and they had a two hole punch and it was about that mm. size and it was for this I don't know what you call it, but it was for a buy, for like cards. They would punch the cards and put them in the in a card kind of a but what if it's not even a binder? What if it's like that? Like there's something that sits on your desk that's got yes. two prongs on it, and you just set it on that. So we need somebody from, from overseas to explain this to us. So if, if you know somebody that punched a hole in your instructions, tell me why. Because tell us in the comment, why. Why did you do that, and what did you store it in? Was it a binder? Was it a like a one of those... Uh, Sticky note thing. Not what do you call, what do you call those things that like you could stab somebody with it, but it's got two prongs on it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Like it's just two prongs sticking up on your desk, and you just set your. I don't know. <laughs> you well, stumped me on that one. <laughs> he's talking. There's also one with a single one, you know, and you just yeah. put one sheet of paper on. Yeah, it. and you just punch your well, paper I, on it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, yeah. uh, I, I've seen those off. like in a, in a diner. It's like, order up. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> how do you get your hand knocked? That's what I'm that. thinking of. <laughs> the Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> the Waffle House. Yes. Uh, so I didn't renew my Brick Journal oh my. subscription. So, you know, I love Brick Journal. I do over too. The years, I don't. But I can't. What happened to it? It's expensive. Seventy-five dollars for six issues. Yeah. So and what is that? Twelve bucks or something it, issue. At no point ever. And I don't know recently because I haven't looked at Brick Journal in about a year, but always I could buy the issues later for less. Yeah. Yeah, there's I always a, had a fifty percent off sale something later. There's a magazine I buy every year, and it used to be like Four ninety five. Now it is fourteen dollars. Yeah, I'm just glad I only got to yeah. buy one a year. Well, I mean, so uh, and it is. I mean, I, printing is expensive. Yeah, that and that's the thing, right? We don't print magazines anymore like we used to, so the cost has gone up because not as many people are doing mm -hmm. it. Um, uh, I have a, a bad feeling if, it, if it's getting people like you and me to stop buying it, then. It's probably getting near the end of the road. And I hate That's, I hate to see that. Yeah. I mean, because I'm actually scanning them and putting them on yeah. brick set. I, I don't know if somebody had somewhere said there. I don't, I don't know why all the other magazines, I guess maybe they're because they're European, but like blocks and all the others are on brick set, but brick journal was not. And yeah. I asked Hugh if he minded if I put them on there and he said, no, put them on there. So I don't know what, but I'd heard there might have been a tiff between the two of them at some point. But the two I don't know. two magazine companies? No, between Hugh and uh Joe Mino. Joe Mino, yeah. Oh. But I don't know if that's true. I shouldn't start a rumor. I don't know, but I somebody had told me that. But anyway, yeah, they we'll start, oh, let's start some uh yeah, some let's start a war. start a war. How dare you take my variance away? Um uh, seventy-five dollars for six issues. Yeah, I don't know what that is. What's that like? I can't do math. Yeah, it's like twelve dollars, $12. twelve fifty yeah. an issue. And then when it was ten, I was still struggling. Yeah, right. And I was okay at seven or eight, but yeah, tens what where I, I pretty much stopped. Yeah, I think it was ten ninety five. I'm probably missing the last. the last ten twelve issues. Are you really? Wow. Yeah. yeah, I just got mine. Well, whatever the last, whatever the last one is in brick set, that's the last one I got, and it'll be the okay. last one I get. So. I, I hope somebody, I mean, I might get froggy and download the image off the internet and upload it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. So, um, I was, <laughs> okay, so, oh, hey, look, here's my brick trench shirt. So, oh. I've, I've signed up, I got a couple things around brick world, but I, you know, I've Sounds signed like up. a rant's coming. Yeah. Sounds like a rant is coming. <laughs> Alex, eat your heart out. <laughs> I can't rant like like or like I can't come rant out, like Jabo out. or Alex. <laughs> <laughs> well, my so my little thing is, is I I got I do those little the little diamond so it's just a two by two plate in yellow 
and I, I, I had them printed and I, I ran out. I'm going to run out of time. I'm not going to be able to get it. Plus they're, they're kind of expensive to print, mm -hmm. but at, at the conventions, the, the big thing to do now is to leave a token by a mock that, that you like. Um, so that was what I had been leaving. And the last time we went to brick, uh, uh, brick world was to leave the little diamond with the brick trains logo on it and it just you know shows hey we we saw your stuff and we liked your stuff well i'm gonna i ordered i was looking for two by two tiles in yellow in yellow and i i wanted Too bad to get you a, don't know a store nearby <laughs> <laughs> well yeah so i looked for i, I put in this hundred looking for them i have a hard time finding anybody that have new ones and it's a new part, but I had, yeah. okay, I found some that were new. But then all of them that when I went to check out, they didn't have their shipping. They didn't know. Oh, so you, you had no idea what you're going to pay for shipping. I didn't know what I was going to pay for shipping. Yeah. And then the other thing that uh, uh, I kind of been watching here a little lately is if they don't have 100% feedback, then mm -hmm. I go and look. It's like, okay, did they have recently? Are they having problems? Or is this mm -hmm. like something that happened? Because it seems like years ago there were more people complained about sellers on BrickLink. I guess they were less tolerant, but now it seems mm -hmm. like they don't let the little petty stuff like variants mess everything up. But, you know, so these guys, several of these sellers that had them, they had complaints in the last couple weeks and stuff. And I was like, well, uh. and right, I finally found a guy that had them. And then I turned around and looked at my store and I had 36 sitting in my store that <laughs> didn't even have to. Yeah, I mean, I could have pulled them out of a drawer. Yeah, the, ah. I've done that. I mean, I, I often look in my store for stuff, but I can't. Yeah, there's been a lot of times I didn't think I had a part. Well, I even did. I went, I went to both of your guys' store. I think one oh. of you had like six, and the other had like twelve. And I was like, eh, I don't sell know. out, man. Yeah, what yellow tiles? <laughs> I guess well, they probably did. not. Okay, let's. I'm gonna look on Bricklink. That's part 3068B for now, isn't it? <laughs> It'll be something different later. Yeah. All right, let's look at yellow. Known colors, yellow, in 302 sets. Let's it's not look. a rare part. We're going to support sort Our by value. quantity down. The most is in the mobile crane from 1978. Oh, my goodness. That's a oh, Technic wow. set. I just said I need. I just said, I, oh my goodness! You're That's gonna have set to, I need to piece together. You better get your yellow price. tiles. It's almost one of the bottom. early Technic <laughs> sets. Yeah. So you would have to buy Real Madrid or the Mario question mark. Most of the sets are vintage. Wow, that is for the yellow. See, I didn't even go and look at that. There's every okay. There's a Lego Education set. It, these are the ones that have more than ten. A Lego education set, a trumpet that was a Lego Land California exclusive. Okay. The garage from 2009, the family room, which is a building set with people, the question mark, and the real Madrid, and then that crane. So all of them would be expensive to part out. So now the next thing you look is there a small set that has a few that I could buy right. bulk. And there's the trophy has seven. <laughs> oh, you can get. Oh, you should have parted out your minifigure tribute. You got five of them in that set. No. So the only way you're going to get this in quantities to find <laughs> it on a, a, a pick a brick wall or something. Well, I, that's what I'm getting ready to look is. Is it on the pick a brick wall? No, I don't want to take a survey. Thank you, Lego. I do not want to take a survey. <laughs> They're about the survey. I the only other company I know taking surveys. Huh? I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I want to take a survey about taking surveys. Yeah. The only other company I know that's more picky or more pushy about surveys is Pizza Hut. Order from Pizza Hut and they just want you to survey, survey, survey. What is it? 3069B, right? So I love it at AT&T when they send me a survey Oh, to rate myself. A, so we have a survey that comes out once a year that we're doing right now. It is a... <laughs> It's a voluntary survey. It's about 10 questions. It doesn't take very long to do. It's voluntary, but yet they want it. They, it's like they want you to make sure everybody do, does it. Mm -hmm. And every day, 
every day we get the uh, our scorecard of where our percentage is. It's like it's not mandatory. Why are you? <laughs> yeah. Right. Why are you insisting Sounds on this mandatory? <laughs> So okay. yeah, the, the, sometimes it, it, this it's isn't weird. Much what, of a rant. I didn't say I was gonna have a great rant. Well, you got I in guess here the registration process. Oh, that's what yeah. I was waiting. You on. wanting me to talk about that? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I so I've registered for Brick World Chicago, and I don't like see event, see event, see whatever it is. I I don't I don't like it. Uh, that's what they're using since last year. So all your registration for your badges and getting in is all in there. Uh, they just announced, I guess, I don't know, something about mock displays. I don't know where that's going to be. It just seems like it's all, It's it, they have a website, brickworld.com. You go there and you can see all the information about it, all the schedules are going to be there and stuff, but you have to leave that site, go to Cvent, which they have a link, and register your badges and stuff there. And it's not it's not clean. It's it mm -hmm. so I went to add my daughter and her husband in Dakota, and I couldn't figure out how to get there. Yeah. Right. So I went, I went to brickworld.com. I log into my account. By the way, you still have a Brickworld account. And yeah, there's text there that says, you don't need to be here no more. Your registration's over at C event, except unless you want to do all the, where's the schedules and stuff. Any rate, so I sent a help me thing. You know, they got a little spot. <laughs> it, we, you know, right under the button that says, if you want to register, click here. And then right underneath it, it says, if you're having trouble registering, click here and tell us what you're having problems with. So I did that. And a couple of days later, they sent me a, sent me my email of my registration to me again. And there's a link in that. Hey, by the way, don't click links in your email. It is a <laughs> it is a security risk brick world. Mm -hmm. But the only way you can get to your registration information is to click a link that was sent to you in an email. Yeah, that's not good. No. And by the way, I still have not got it hooked into my phone app. I have the C event phone app. I still have 2023 on there, but the 2024 is not there on the app. And they want you to use the app. And like, how how about use dirty words? I was so well, mad a, and frustrated with this thing. I think it's <laughs> about the the whole like logistics of getting people in, keeping inventory of who's registered. It's like they've they've handed since they've grown so big, they've had to hand it off to another company, I guess, to manage that. Yeah. Well, Mark, if I know you're not watching. <laughs> he does his own little brick world stuff. If you would like to come on and talk, I will not be uh, grumpy, I guess would be a good word. But because well, I, yeah, I, mean, I, I love brick world. Don't get me wrong. I'm looking forward to going. I just did not have a pleasant registration experience. I don't so, understand why some things make it so hard. I mean, are they I trying like to the way break fair was? Are they creating their own problem by trying to create their own app or something? Well, but they, you just said it. Brick Fair did his own stuff. You stayed on the same website. You did, but yeah. uh, what was his name? Um, Todd. Todd. Yes. Thank you. Todd. Todd writes that pro that website. Yeah. He 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 is. Now, since Mark has bought Brickworld uh, pre-pandemic, uh, I don't, I don't know that I don't. Obviously, he's not the one maintaining it. I think whoever the previous owner was had somebody maintaining it, oh. like you're saying, Earl, that they were kind of rolling their own app. It was not great. The Brickworld website is not great, and it gets know. gets more complicated when you get more people. I mean, yeah, it's the, the whole purpose of this to register and get ticketless. Ticketless entry with your phone. No, it's to get. Well, right now they're just doing because we're st we're still what are we four or five months out? Um, right now it's just registration. I, it looks like they've set it to like two thousand people, two thousand registrants because I think they're like. They gotta have a limit there. this time, I guess, because they. I think they really crammed it in there last year. A lot of people. Um, it. Uh, uh, the, so this is for your badges. 
uh, the the all the it looks like all the stuff is sold out already. So like they have a, a mm -hmm. set. Um, uh, I haven't. Uh, yeah, it was a set. I, don't, I can't remember the goodie bag. I didn't see the goodie bag. The brick badges. They're usually always available because they they make those based on whom how many order them. So I ordered the brick mm -hmm. badges for us. Um, but yeah, it's just get, get the registration going now. Later, as it gets closer, they'll start adding in the events, the panels, the 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 uh, the you know the different activities and events and things that they're going to mm -hmm. have. They'll start showing up, and any of those that you got to either pay for or register because they have limited space, those will start showing up now. They used to be on the Brick World website. Now, I'm guessing they're going to be in C event or C event, whatever this thing is. I don't we know. Don't like change. So I've, got no. an important, I've got an important question. Okay. Has Dakota ever seen GMA in buying mode? Ha! <laughs> my daughter oh is my already. <laughs> <laughs> See, this will be the first time my daughter's gone, right? So my daughter and son-in-law, yeah. this is their first trip. And my daughter already said, Mom, don't even don't. Don't even try to embarrass me. She said, I don't want to. She said, You embarrass dad every year. You ain't embarrassing me. So don't. <laughs> That's funny. No, I, I think I might come out unscathed this year. I don't know. <laughs> so I had a, a similar experience with um, this convention they have down here in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. uh, I got message said, hey, you're going. I was like, well, I might as well try. I mean, I'm not going to get a hotel. So I went to what? sign up and it sends you to Eventbrite. Okay. Another one of those little websites where yep. they do tickets, and it's like the only thing you could buy was like partial day tickets. I'm like, I want to register. I said, and I click because the thing that says to register as a exhibitor, click here, and I go there. It goes back to Eventbrite, and a couple of days go by, and I was like, I really want to try to go. So I, I sent, I did the help thing like you did. Yeah, and they sent me an email with the the link. I clicked the link. It goes to the same thing. I said that when I click the link, it goes to Eventbrite, and it's just an option to buy tickets like I'm a person coming to the show, not an right. exhibitor. And they said, we just tested it, and it works. So I said, I'm not going to argue with you. So I went Save home. Save money. <laughs> I, I, well, I went and did it on my computer. So uh, it doesn't work on a phone. Uh, or it didn't work on, didn't work on my phone. But when I did it from the computer, it went and gave you the. It, it did. It, when I did it on my phone, it only gave me the options for, like a guest. Mm -hmm. When I went on my computer, it gave me the option as an exhibitor. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, why is it this complicated? Because I, I do most everything on my phone now. I don't usually get on the. Well, right. I'm, I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm on my Mac on this right now, but. Yeah, yeah there's a there's a lot. I th there's a lot of things that you you can't do on your phone that you have to do from a from a PC or a, you know a laptop or yeah. So right. they say that the Bricklink it's is odd. not mobile. They don't like even the Bricklink, you know. Is, but I like I use Bricklink on my phone. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, I, I, order I usually phone. do my iPad because my phone is too small. Yeah. So probably with the bright brick thing or the bright light thing so the the web server will detect or can detect if you're on a, what you're on a mobile device mobile. Whatever. and it's probably sending them to or sending you to a mobile page yeah it's just not updated and they're all looking at it like you did to get it to work yeah. on a computer yeah, but I, I felt like they, they're looking at me like i'm stupid because but i was like i i, I wanted the snarky me wanted to do screen recording to show this is what's happening Right. Like I've done it like 10 times and it always goes to that page, but yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Well, and then to add insult to injury on the whole brick world thing, they use, they use a token. So they gave you, they give you a link and it has a number in it. And that number is part of the URL. Oh. Guess what? I'm pretty sure if anybody has that number, they're going to be able to log into my account or just because the way it tokenizes in, 
I don't know. There might be a session thing somewhere, mm. but I don't I don't have a password that I'm aware of to log in. And that's what I kept telling us. So there's nowhere for me to log into this silly thing. So it to me it's very insecure. I, right. I think it's grumpy old people trying to run these yeah. things and they don't know the new technology or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So have you guys heard of Brick Seek? Brick Seek. It's another app. Buckle up, Jabo. It's another app. <laughs> yeah, we mentioned this before. There was a uh, that's an app where you can find things that are on sale in your area. Well, they have a. Um, hang on one second. This is the yeah. one with the CMF, right? Yes. So oh, they, I thought that was something else that had the CMF scanner. No, no brick search. I'm sorry, not okay. Brick now see brick that, that yeah, brick oh, search okay. is the scanner. Brick search. Brick seek so, is prices so apparently on the bot bottom of the cmf boxes which i've went and looked there's a qr code and the qr code is unique to the figure that's in there mm -hmm. and i've had success on about six of them out of a whole rack because <laughs> apparently there are different size qr codes yeah the small qr codes they say don't work yes and apparently in my area I'm loaded down with small QR codes, but I yeah. think, I think they must be, I don't, I don't think it's intentional. I think it's the, the, I don't think it can read the small ones. Yeah. The, the small one is not a QR code. It is a, it is. Yeah. It's probably an internal code. Yeah. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's really, it's, I've looked at that and it's, it's a strange code. My, my barcode, my little, my scanner, which will read all kinds of 2d, barcodes and yeah i don't yeah 3d bar it won't read that it won't, it won't even recognize that it's something other mm -hmm. than just squiggles um so yeah i don't know what that little one is it's probably like you said it's internal to lego they probably got a something that reads it well they look the same i mean i they you you can't really tell they're smaller to me it just looks like it's not as dark yeah. But I guess if you hold them side to side, it, it probably is smaller, but I don't think it's noticeable unless you hold them side by side. Yeah, well, yeah. So I, I've bought two of the box, the six pack boxes. Mm -hmm. Did you do like, that yet? Did you do that? You no, it was do like that 10 days yet. ago. So this shows you how interested I am in this series. It's like, why did I even buy these boxes? <laughs> I well, I got, them. I bought two boxes during some VIP something or another. Because I refuse to call it an insider, uh, yeah. but it, it, uh, I haven't. I opened one to see if I had little barcodes or both barcodes, and I have the. I just have the little ones, so I can't yeah. scan them to see. Plus, Alex and Jason are. They're going to do. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he posted goat butt pictures. Goat butt, <laughs> yes, with their little camera. Uh, yeah, so they're doing. I think they're filming that tomorrow. They they separated them out, and then I'm going to get the leftovers, which is hopefully yeah. is the whole complete set. No, I mean, did you see where he stuck? Who, did he repost somebody else's picture of the camera? Okay, well, by the time this comes out, I guess it'll be over. Alex went and bought one of those little probe cameras okay. so that he could figure. Oh, this did out. he really? Yes. Yeah, wow. Jason wow. said he's become the, the picture of the goat's butt, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> okay. It, I, yeah, that's the goat. Jason said he's become what he rants against. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> looking at these CMF boxes and stuff. So, yeah, but I don't know well, when it's coming out. But well, they talked that. on their last video about your. They're still waiting for your box, and they talked about. Uh, and I know they they film a week or so ahead. They film two at a time a week. But uh, when they were talking about if they don't get three complete sets, and I just wanted to. I, I wish I would have been face to face because. You know, with you in with you in it, <laughs> it probably won't get the reset. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought about that. Yeah. Never My know. luck will bring them all down. Yeah. We got a whole case of little bat guys, the little one that nobody wants. Yeah. <laughs> like, man, they're oh. really pressing their luck. <laughs> so speaking of um those guys, the other guys. <laughs> Jason and Alex. <laughs> yeah, I, I um. Did you see the 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 banter when 
Jason had the brilliant idea <laughs> of reviewing my shirt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that, they spent, they literally spent more time debating on whether it was a good idea than actually do it. <laughs> Jason's, the comments to those videos are, are extremely polarizing. Like, do it or don't do it. But there's none of that. Eh. <laughs> I don't know. Get it over I, with. It's painful enough. <laughs> Is that a hole in his shirt? <laughs> the the I, white T-shirt. It looks like it's day one and he forgot. He just rolled out of bed <laughs> said, here I am. <laughs> so, if I knew people were going to care enough to talk about it. <laughs> I would have combed my hair. <laughs> oh my goodness. I posted on there two middle aged guys. What did I say? Two middle aged guys worried about some old dude's new shirt or something. <laughs> you know, the I, problem mine was I, I agree with Alex. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a good idea, probably. No. <laughs> but I appreciate I appreciate it. But yeah. I, this year, this time this year. I've gotten more positive feedback about this because I've had two people talk about my shirts. You and um, Jason. <laughs> Are you still keeping up, uh, Joey? I am. Yes. Oh, no. oh I'm keeping up. I'm keeping. Yeah. It's just you. You dump them out on the yeah. member side, like two or three at a time, or whatever. I am, Are you gonna be? Sadly depressed come December because by December the new ones are all going to be scheduled and I'm going to have already seen them all. So it'll be right. We're, we're going to be going like so many days without a video. Right, right. Well, I it's like I have to post when I can. Like I did, I haven't filmed. Oh wait, I don't want to reveal. Don't do yeah. <laughs> well, it'll already be two weeks old by then, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. It's like sometimes I don't know if I have a chance to film, so I'll film multiple videos. Right. And uh, I wanted to get like where I was a week ahead. Like if I had to go out of town, I wouldn't have to worry about it, you know? Right. But I, I haven't, it's hard. It is hard to post videos out. Um, okay. And I, I, when I started YouTube, I was doing like three videos a day. Mm -hmm. I can't right. even do one. It's hard to do one a day now for some reason. <laughs> so you know, you you know, I I tease you because I I sent that puffy shirt, right? Oh, where yeah, yeah. Go? Oh, I, got, I don't even know where it is. But it's here. Well, that's I, fine. But I because I found. Oh, I can't find it now. At any rate, I found a T-shirt with with. Uh, him wearing the puppy shirt and it says, I don't want to be a pirate. On this <laughs> oh man. I don't want to be a pirate. <laughs> now I can't find it. I was going to order it. No, I don't have to look up. I'll I was it. watching new heart the other day. And, um, oh, one of the early show. years, um, Larry of Larry, Daryl and Daryl was running for mayor mm -hmm. and he had a t-shirt vote for Larry. And on the back, it said a critter in every pot. <laughs> So I want to get one of those shirts, but I don't. I don't know if the ones selling it have the a critter in every pot on the back or not. That's ah, uh, yeah, find one like that. But um, yeah, that would be cool. Let me know, guys. Do y'all know Larry Daryl and Daryl? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny because you said New Heart, and I. I mean, I watched that that the New Heart show, but I I am remember the original New Heart. Oh, show. Bob New Heart. Yeah, yes, Bob, Bob New Heart. There was there was Bob yeah. New Heart, then there was New Heart. And then right. there was Bob. Bob, <laughs> yes. And then there was Daryl and my other brother, Daryl. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a, wait a minute. It does, it's, a, it's, it, huh? it's a t shirt of the puffy shirt. It's a uh -huh. t shirt of the puffy shirt. Yeah, because you're only doing t shirts this year, right? <laughs> that, well, that's the goal. Um, like I said, uh, I think I mentioned there. I, I don't know if it's a video that's posted or not, but there might be a polo month. Yeah, you'd be. Yeah, you talk oh, about that. Yeah, but yeah, I don't oh, know if yeah, that's posted yeah. or not. <laughs> All right, Earl, we have yeah, got a ton of comments, which is good. It's a good problem it, to it have. Is. It is. Yes, Brian always says I sound so disappointed when I say that. I don't mean to sound disappointed. There's one. Let me see if I can find it because it's not on the current video, but it was a good comment. 
and I really um, wanted us to talk about it. Upward, uh, I'm not going to find it now. We have got more comments on multiple there are two. Uh, episodes. Episode 91, and what's the other one that a lot of people have been still posting? That was the last episode. Yeah, I know, but there was another episode. Um, I think it well, was 90. you got some brave people out there who have gone back and, and started watching some of the early episodes. Yeah. Well, I can't. Well, they're, they're trying to catch up like Jason. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah I want, you know, I wonder what episode he's up to. Well, he's gone through David Davis, so <laughs> three or four. <laughs> I don't know that. Yeah. I told him, I said, "Man, you're brave," because some of those early ones were cringy. <laughs> okay, so fun with bricks. What, when why I does first it feel came... the same to me now. <laughs> <laughs> When I first began collecting Lego about five years ago, I noticed a one-by-one -one plate with the clip changed. Maybe you all can discuss why Lego changes molds in a future show. Okay, the why. Okay, that's a good question. Why does Lego change clips? I'll tell you wh why the early clips changed. Because they always broke. Broke. Mm -hmm. uh, but mm -hmm. as far as the the thick clips, there's like two main variants of thick I don't know. I don't know what. Yeah, but, yeah the know. early ones, the thin ones would break. I wonder if it's like a production issue or some kind of cost saving issue. Yeah. Or I know mm -hmm. that they have taken the yeah, that the, the thickness of the wall in some cases, uh, that yeah, they have taken plastic out for cost mm -hmm. purposes, but then yeah, I think I think you hit the other one right there is production issues. I, I uh, you know they go into production with a part and it doesn't it doesn't Which, automate well yeah and i sent you guys that that link today that it's pretty interesting i don't know if you if you saw it he when ducks bricks did they got a walk through of the lego through. factory yeah and it's pretty interesting i'm sure you see a lot of stuff like that but yeah i uh well not like that but yeah we do have a lot of automation that uh I have I've seen videos before of the factory. I haven't watched Duck Brooks's video yet. It's pretty um, neat. I didn't I realize the pellets it. were like wafers. I always thought they were like little pellet pellets. But they're it, like they're they they look like maybe the size of a quarter, or almost the size of a quarter, like wafers. Yeah, I don't I don't know why they're that's I don't know why they're doing that. We use pellets. Yeah. And if they're round, here's the inside baseball. If it's a round, I don't know where the wafers are coming from. Uh, but if it's a, a round, like a ball, then those no. were used what's called an under, underwater cutter. It, I don't, I don't no, know these it's... are like a weight. They're, they're size of, at least the size of a nickel, maybe as big as the size of a quarter. And it, it looks like a, a wafer. It doesn't look like a pellet at all. I'll have to watch it. You'll see. see it. My, my question is do they come in on hopper cars? Or truck, <laughs> and then they're just big bins of them. But how do they get to the? How do they get to the factory? Right, right. We ship a lot of it out in 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 boxes. Hmm. So I mean, where where I work, we make when well, we make polycarbonate, we don't make ABS. But we used to make polycarbonate. Well, we still make polycarbonate. We used to make polycarbonate for Lego. Oh. Uh, yeah, they in fact Lego came in and audited us one time uh to make sure that we were paying our employees to global standards. I was like, okay, yeah, we don't have indentured servants in the United States. <laughs> global that was, state, global standards. Yeah, so Lego has like they Apple, <laughs> they have a certain standard. You can't like so is that like global average? No, it's it would be, it would, it's it was all around how much overtime you were forced to work, right? We have Mando overtime, so like if we somebody calls in sick or whatever, hey, I need people, and guess what? That's my job. Hey, I need people to stay over. A lot of times you get volunteers. People say, oh yeah, I'll take it, I'll take it. Well, then when they don't, then what I do is, or what the policy is, whoever has the lowest overtime average. You're, you get to stay. Now, 
that raises your overtime average. So, you know, it's kind of a little vicious circle mm -hmm. of change, dog chasing its own tail. And, and the, op, the operators that play the game, play the game well, so they don't get stuck mm -hmm. working something they don't want. Right. They only work what they want, but Lego came in and they audited all that. Well, let me say, let me put it this way. A guy that worked for a law firm in Indianapolis that was working for a law firm out of New York that was hired by a law firm <laughs> in Enfield, Connecticut for a little company called Lego is that was who was here doing the audit. Yeah, they so, could have gave a few people a raise and just not worried about it. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, I don't get it. It's come on, it's the United States. Ain't nobody getting well, I I guess. Uh yeah. Paul's bricks. I do really like that food truck gift with purchase, but here in Australia it's three hundred and ten dollars to get one. Ooh. Well, I wonder what that's equivalent to in U.S. dollars. Two hundred or what was one hundred ninety to get it? Ours is one hundred ninety, mm -hmm. and it's yeah. about yeah. The Australian dollar is yeah, you know, it's crazy. So that yeah, that was one of those gifts we purchased. I got it, but only got one. That's <laughs> all I got was one, and I wanted it for the layout, so I, I can... didn't get it. Uh, battery powered bricks, aka Brian. Speaking Brian. of dipping dots, I recently found a barbecue plate. I got to. A barbecue place I got to has many melts, which are basically the same thing. Yep. I hadn't seen anything like that in decades. Love this food podcast. Much love, fellas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah speaking of uh, the food podcast, we were we were supposed to open with uh, our snack review, mm. but as usual. Oh we yeah, forgot. we are the we are a food podcast. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So we were going to talk about that, and we forgot. Imagine yeah. that. <laughs> uh, Sin Killer Tachikawa. I would be interested in seeing motor swaps like people do with play, play rail. Tommy Tamiya makes motors of that size that focus on different things like speed or torque due to the popularity of a mini four-wheel drive in Japan. Hmm. Hmm. So when he says motor swaps, does he mean just using a different motor or putting a like an internal motor in the, the current casing? I don't know. We were talking about the twelve volt and four volt motors <laughs> yeah. last time. So yeah, yeah, um, I, yeah. Have you ever done a video where you change one of those motors out? Been a long time ago, but it seems like I remember you doing. I one. think I did. I it, like all my other videos. I would have struggled to find it myself <laughs> but, yeah i'm pretty sure i did because yeah yeah uh Oren grow i remember having some of those old train motor replacement parts mixed in my childhood lego that were hand-me-downs no clue what i needed them needed them for back then no clue where they went <laughs> yeah i wonder uh, how many people actually bought those because they needed to replace a part <laughs> I don't imagine that those motors. Do you know the manufacturer of the motor? Is that that Bruel? Bruel, B U R R E L. It was a German manufacturer. Yeah, they make they make motors like in for LGB and Marklin and stuff. They're like they never burn motors. up. Right, exactly. <clears throat> yeah, sounds like a challenge for Brian. <laughs> Uh, Sega Bricks, you can group the t-shirt videos by month or quarterly and have a final at the end. That's a pretty good idea. Yeah, Gary. I thought the monthly, just do a, you know, do it for the month. Uh, at the hour 10 minute mark, if you are looking for a once a year poly bag for the 20, for 29th, for the 29th of February, Easter ones or so, if you meant unique poly bag once every four years, I would pick an old small cardboard box one. Used as the A-Fool exception on the polybag Thursday of the special day. <laughs> Greetings from Belgium. <laughs> I I have I have found the polybag that I'm going I used. I did it. I've already shipped or shot the video. It's it's in the can and on the site, I believe. Should be cool. on the site. So but I'm not letting the cat out of the bag. <laughs> you have to go watch my terrible, terrible shorts. Sorry. <laughs> But you know what day to watch it now. <laughs> well, you yeah. know what I don't like about shorts? I'll just tell you this. Is that you can't pick what image is the thumbnail. Nope. I do not understand that. they had, And they pick 
like normally YouTube picks a decent thumbnail on like a traditional video, but on shorts, I'm like, why? And sometimes I'll try to keep everything like when I was, was doing shorts, I try to keep everything in the frame and they'll get that one time I turned away to right, something yeah. totally <laughs> related. I'm like, yeah, I just, yeah, I don't understand. No, I get it. it. I think shorts would be better if you could pick what your thumbnail was. Uh, Andrew, go ahead. No, go. go I was just gonna say because, yeah, I was looking at my my dashboard or my YouTube thing, and yeah, the 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 thumbnails are just kind of random looking mm -hmm. for everything. Uh, Andrew Mazzarini, yeah, the only order I've ever made to any of your stores so far has been one to Jabos like two years ago from a wanted list. The parts themselves went towards a London, Britain, and South Coast E2 tank engine model designed by British mm. Bricks that I recolored from the brown and his instructions to blue to make a prototypical Thomas the Tank engine. Oh, nice. I'll be That's sure to show him off on, on Bricking News community commentary at some point this year. There <laughs> well, you we'll go. See, yeah, we'll see it. Uh, make sure you mention where the parts came from when yeah. you put it on the commentary. <laughs> uh, dude, dude. Hey, Jabo, Earl, and Joey. Good one. I can't remember what I was going to say. Keep up the good work. <laughs> yeah, we. <laughs> us either. Uh, Cajun A-Fall. I really enjoyed building the hot dog truck. Which one? The old, yeah, <laughs> There's which so one? many of them now. <laughs> There's like new hot, hot dog trucks out there. Uh, Blockhead UK, I'm in the process of juggling many, many simultaneous BrickLink wish lists and orders as a buyer. As I'm trying to finish something big for a show at the end of February and two smaller projects for a show in early March. I've spent a fortune and I'm not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if I'm buying a certain quantity of something and the seller has that plus one of one in their inventory, I usually buy the whole lot, unless it's a silly expensive mm -hmm. have done so ever since hearing a jabo rant on the subject a few years ago <laughs> it's not a very uh, good rant i guess <laughs> and don't get me started on parts and rare colors when bricklink sellers send you the wrong thing yeah better get on with the mock now with the a fools chatting in the background <laughs> <laughs> so i think we've talked about this before but you can look at a store sometimes and know they're going to have the wrong part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't think you have that part in that color. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite is when they have like, no, they selected no color for a part. I'm like, what color is it? Is you put not applicable for the part? <laughs> not applicable. It's like, do, do, do I want to play like the roulette with this and just pick, <laughs> I'm going to select these not applicable to see what I get. Yeah, <laughs> at least give me a hint. What what hue is it? <laughs> It'd be a pretty good video. <laughs> I ordered all the not applicable parts in this oh, store. Man. What do I get? <laughs> oh man! Uh, Brian at Battery Powered Bricks says the mold variation that always burns me on BrickLink is windows. Sometimes a completely <laughs> wrong window, but more often the wrong holes are for the inserts. <laughs> yeah, I had that problem when I was. Hand. Yeah, when I was piecing together the cafe corner, I didn't realize that I had gotten a a, a different window, I think, and it didn't work. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, so uh, those windows, yeah, the holes. So speaking of the other guys, Jason at Brixen 5, before you said anything, I knew it was a slow news <laughs> week. I mean, you started with breaking news, and it doesn't get much slower than that. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the shirt looks great. For me, Oh, yeah. Yeah, you had a shirt on. Yeah. For me, the most frustrating parts are the one by one plates with clips. I always find the one clip vertical when I need horizontal and vice versa. Yeah. Yeah. He must be talking about in his searching in his parts. Part. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Did I miss a video? Because I sent him a package. Like, he remember he ordered for me? Did he get his package? Does anybody um, remember seeing it? Do you, I don't think he does like BrickLink calls or anything, but I don't remember. Have Oswald's in them. No, because you sent him a. Did you send him a? Did you send him a figure? 
Yeah. Okay. I haven't seen it. Okay, that's what I said because I saw a post and it was like his his. Did you check your and, tracking number? Did it get, make it? Yeah, it got delivered. It got delivered, and this was like a month ago. And I'm like, I hope he didn't just like set it to the side. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's look at his. I don't know how to. F I went through some of his videos since that day, and I was like, yeah. not that I'm pressuring him to to make a video, <laughs> right? Well, he might be doing something special. I don't know. Yeah. Well, there's the yeah. He did the one where I sent him the the. Yeah, he uh, did that one. And that would have been before that, right? Yeah, yeah. I, it's like I don't know if he even knows that I put yeah. the stuff in the package. Like he could be like me. He's like I I got this for this project, but I'm not working on that project right now. Oh, it I'll could open be. It when yeah. I get to my project. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Well, hmm. we're gonna in a couple weeks we'll know. Yeah. <laughs> when he sees this, uh, gears and bricks homework. This is a big deal in some cases, while in other cases not so much. I have a few examples of some of the annoyances and nuances of subtle part differences that have affected me and my friends directly. <laughs> this is an essay, guys. For me, well, one I, of the, I just want to say it just sounded like it was like <laughs> somebody <laughs> beat you up or something. Yeah. <laughs> For me, one of the biggest problems arises when Lego will change or update a long running part ever so slightly, then not change the part number. When they do this, sometimes mm -hmm. it is overdue update to solve a problem, such as a cracking due to a tight spacing tolerances. However, in my opinion, if a mold changes, so should the part number. Bricklink will usually keep the original part number not for long, <laughs> yeah. as well as for, for the two or more variants, making it highly impossible to track down a specific type. This is why I attempt to design mocks in such a manner that I can use either variant, but in most cases that is impossible due to the design constraints and my builds being very stringent. One of my most recent video explains the cross-sectional tolerances of axles versus pins and how 0.6 millimeters can make all the difference. <laughs> An example is, is the plastic versus rubber coating on 9-volt wires. A yeah. mod. Go yeah, ahead. The, yeah, the, the, they, uh, they, they dry rot. They yeah. disintegrate. Yeah. But there's some that are they're fine. If they were yeah. plastic, they're fine. A MOT, a MOT, a M-O-T, I don't know if that's an acronym or a MOT set, or he, he meant to type mock set featured a technique, technique for clipping the wire to tile clips or other clip parts with the three millimeter opening. Oh, my own train. The oh, my own train did that. There it you was, go. It's an acronym. It used the clips to hold the wires. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> The plastic wire remains clipped well enough while the rubber does not, especially right. when there is slack between the ends of the wire. Most likely wow. it has to do most with the fact that plastic coated wire does not give or crush as rubber insulation does. Yeah. Okay. Another subtle part difference is 4304 versus 99206. The new elementary article listed below shows clearly the difference between the two types. He's got a link. Now, although this is a good change in one sense, and Lego did update the part number because the parts could no longer be placed bottom sides facing with a two-by-two two connecting the sides, it limits what we can do. A few of my friends' train designers could no longer be built unless we use the old version. Yeah. Uh, both have been released in most of the same colors, and both are available in the year 2023, making it even harder to tell the difference unless tested thoroughly. All told, these two parts probably take the cake for me and the annoyance category. <laughs> so well, I feel like I need to be the micro machine guy. Talk really fast with we'll yeah, that done. Reading these. Well, it's all, no, it's fine. And um, yeah, there are things you build that the tolerance because we those type of a builder like him you, does things that Lego wouldn't do probably. Right. But he taught me something in this and explained something. Is that I, I have a magnifying glass, and sometimes when I can't tell what variant is, I'll look. I say, okay, this is this number. But there have been, I think, it's with certain windows where I look at that number, and then I look at the picture on Brickley, and I'm like, 
that's not the part. Mm. It's like I got I got that number. This is, mine is the different number. So this is what he's talking about early on in the, the comment is like Lego oh. will change the mold but keep the same part. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That explains why I got some that I'm looking at this number and it should be that part number, but it's not. It's a different part. Hmm. Does that make did that make sense? What yeah, I mean? no, it does. Yeah. yeah, it does. It does. It makes sense. It, it might make sense why sometimes you think the uh I thought it was a brick link problem. Wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Uh I wonder what that part number is. What's 4304 and 99206? 99206 sounds familiar. Hang on. I'll tell you. What is it? 99206? Oh, it's the uh, the bracket, the uh, the plate that's the, get the studs on the side. It's the one by the two by two plate with two studs on the side. I didn't realize that there was variance. <laughs> <laughs> Now we know why Bricklink is trying to. Uh, yeah, 4304. Oh my goodness. You have got to be kidding. What is it? 4304? They look exactly the same. Wait a minute. Holo oh my goodness. They do, don't they? They, don't, they, look, they look no different. Uh, what is the difference in these? Uh, well, hang on. Hollow bottom tube. Yep, here it is. It's the tube on the bottom. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I had never even see it's another one of those variants I didn't know existed. Now what 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 could that cause? It depends on what you're sticking in that tube, I guess. <laughs> that okay, so here's the odd thing. They had mm. So I'm going to guess that 4304, I'm out of shot. What do you know? 4304 is probably the older part, okay, because it's the lower number. 99206, now, you know, we talked about earlier that they, they it like, like to take, added plastic. Well, I'm wondering <laughs> if they added plastic for strength. I, I wonder, wonder if, if that, that piece breaks. Right. I bet that circle, this circle right here, the I tube, bet it breaks it, the tube, yes. The anti stud <laughs> the tube i bet wow. it breaks Crazy. variants more variants it's funny now that we like after hit after reading that comment i i remember us talking about that and to, to that how that kind of flowed now that we talked about that and then like the next day yeah. we were we were talking about bricklink changing it was like how ironical was yeah. that that's why yeah, I keep like, thinking see, we talked we, about we're, it. We're going to appear to be late to the game, but we Ooh. were ahead of the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's why yeah. I was getting that discussion with Brian on right. Instagram. I'm like... Yeah. I'm like, I've heard all this. It's yeah, already... Right. Yeah. But nobody, everybody's going to be like, this person was talking about it and that person about it was talking right. about it. Yeah, that's fine. That's it good. doesn't matter if you actually were talking about it. <laughs> uh, Brian's Bricks Barn. Thanks for the shout out, Jabo. Love the podcast. Been watching since the first episode. He's been commenting for a long time, too. Mm. Uh, Space Time Brick Studio. I think I know which clips Jabo is referring to in my order. I only oh, recently uh, discovered oh, that his, three... his was an order that I had the wrong clips in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I only recently discovered that there are three different molds for the one by one clip facing forwards. I think I ordered the older reddish brown ones when the newer and cheaper ones would have worked fine. Uh, they were for <laughs> my wolf, my wolf brick heads, eyebrows and mustache. Okay. Well, I get, I, yeah, I want to make sure. Yeah. When you, when there's a price difference, but if, yeah, if it, if you had known that they were the cheaper ones, I guess it would have been better to go for the cheaper ones since it didn't matter. Yep. Uh, gears and bricks. That joke was a good one, Joey. You yeah. got a fan. That's <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Alex Nunes, the other guy. Imagine my disappointment. Oh, gosh, dang it. <laughs> Oh, nowhere to go. Alex, I love Lego. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Imagine my disappointment not seeing any of my videos being recommended to Joey as he was sharing his screen on the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> I replied. Uh, let's see. And you said that was because I have watched all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but Mrs. Bricks, Mrs. Bricks on Brick. I always watch to the end. Most annoying piece is the one by two one where one end triangles at the end and it either angles left or right. I always put them on pointing the wrong way. Mm. Uh, one by two, one end. Oh, okay. It's like a little triangle. Thing. Yeah. At Bourne's at Barn Bricks, the part I sent a picture of may be the same as the one used in the 12 volt pickups. However, a few of mine had remnants of blue plastic glued to the top. So, it, they could have been. Yeah. They could have been look, blue motors. Mm -hmm, yeah, if I you so. look closely at the photo of the BB, you have to look that number up BB007 CO1. You can see the plate glued under the contacts. That must be where these particular ones came from. Hmm. So does he think we solved the mystery? Oh, I think we solved it, whether he thinks we did or not. <laughs> but yeah, I think it goes with that. I think it was that blue motors where, mm -hmm. especially if he's seeing blue plastic. So, uh, Chris Cummings, I was the guy buying those mega blocks before the Halo sets took over the brand. I was using yeah. Lego to detail my Mega Block builds, but once I started purchasing used Lego lots, I didn't need to buy Mega Blocks. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the Mega Block Mega Blocks reseller market? Where's that? Why is there not one? <laughs> I, I, I don't see it. Is it? Hello. <laughs> uh, Gibson Star Wars collector. Hey guys, another great show. Just a question. I just won an eBay auction for set 264 and have no idea why any idea That's who I should it. think. Oh. The living room no, set? 264 I have no idea why. Any idea who I should think? <laughs> oh, <I'm> so sorry. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> well, unless you got the uh, Mercedes Benz with clear garage. Yeah. That's also yeah, that, too... Uh, 64. <laughs> I had a couple of people send me Instagram messages or whatever about listings like on different sites. And I'm disappointed how many times I end up losing those. I've had some people find me some good stuff and it's like, oh, I should have bid a little more. Some of them have gone for low prices. I forget about them. I'll bid on them and then I'll forget <laughs> about them. Well, that's... Uh... PCH Puma, the two by four plate with holes is from the blue four and a half volt motor. Yeah, so they know better than this. They were right. Yep. Uh, Mr. Wicked Paul, minifig QR code you can only scan large print sticker. Others are too small to scan. Yeah, that's what we've that's what we've come to learn. Uh, at Alex Noons. Uh oh. Ah, gee, I'm falling behind. I, I don't like Lego. Oh, it's the other guy. That's the other guy. <laughs> uh, mock pop up ain't coming back. A community ah. manager from the land was asking ambassadors about it when it was up and running. Everyone said the same thing. It costs way too much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, Thorock video says that's unfortunate. I got a lot of big orders from the pop up program. But they're missing. Uh, they can still sell the instructions. But, yeah, There's, yeah. They don't have to go and create a mock pop-up store. They could still do. They could sell the instructions uh, with a part list. Yeah, yeah. Make it, it easily integrated and let people decide what they want to do with it. They 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 created the the uh, curated wanted list, and, and we keep seeing it. Right? I mean, it's in. I, I see it in Bricklink. Share your wanted list. Can so, you? No, but it's there. It's ghosted <laughs> out. But it's something they're thinking about. Yeah. And that would be right along the same lines. If you if if you had a curated wanted list, like, hey, this wanted list with this set of instructions, here's your mock. 
And I don't see well, a problem. What, I think it'd be if you buy something from uh, Rebrickable. Yeah, yeah, Rebrickable. You, you know, still have you, to import the the one and listen. Yeah, but yeah, it's still, there. But it's basically that's what you're buying. You're buying the mm -hmm. instructions and you're buying the, the yeah. Forklift. And I don't I don't see why Bricklink isn't trying to capitalize. They they went to this. See, I still say. I know it's me and the conspiracy theory thing. But I still they say it to have they had that connection to their main website to Lego. Yes. No. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Mr. Wicked Paul, I can't watch this yet. I'm working my way through them all. I'm only on episode sixty four. This episode, <laughs> this episode won't make sense. Wait, never <laughs> mind. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the vintage set part. How about a viewer's choice? Sometimes you guys pick the theme, and and then see what people have and show the best one. Or viewers pick the theme. Get viewers involved. Just a thought, as I'd love to see some vintage pirate sets. Oh, that's mm. uh, that's not a bad yeah, idea. It's something I I think I've neglected to do, and it's kind of fun. And uh, you know, that's what something that Alex and Jason do. They'll do like community commentaries. Commentary, what they call yeah. It. And they're talking about just kind of maybe doing something in every video, but some send us your pictures, because Barn Brick <laughs> sent me a picture of his tipper truck. Send Joey, and I was send like, Joey your pictures. <laughs> oh yeah, send it to bricktrains at gmail .com, Since we're just yeah. going to do this ad hoc here, <laughs> <laughs> unless you want to send them to Jabo, but then we can put Jabo's email up. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have Brickzar anymore, do you? No. Mm. I got Brickzar.com, but I don't have Brickzar at Brickzar.com. Mm. So what yeah. tipper did he send you? No, he sent me a picture of his tipper with the chickens. Oh. Yes. Yes. So barn bricks, it's literally like a barn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at Gears and Bricks, maybe another survey idea. Of course, they might forget to check the results. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did we do a survey that we need to check the results? That, on? that would be the the Inception survey. <laughs> will, will we do a survey that will, they will uh, talk about the survey? They won't talk wait, about the survey. It gets, it, <laughs> we'll remember it two episodes later. Uh, Mr. Wicked Paul says, "But gears and bricks, you're assuming they remember to even post it." <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. The uh, cares. <laughs> uh, at Alex Nunes. Man, I, I don't like Lego. <laughs> <laughs> he, he says, I love Lego. Wait, no, I don't. Or do I? I love Lego. <laughs> <laughs> Changes his shirt a lot, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> at, at, and then Brian replied, that can be next month's poll to settle it once and for all. Oh. Does Alex like Lego? <laughs> I don't know his latest rants. I'm beginning to wonder. Yeah, it's it's funny to it's funny to hear him talk about uh, about the prices. He's, uh -huh. he's ranting about the prices, and then Jason's like keeps nudging him on about <laughs> you didn't buy that. You didn't have yeah. to pay for that. <laughs> so, am I catching this right? Is is Alex always rant when it's on Jason's channel? I don't pay attention. Uh. <laughs> No, I think the last one was in Al on Alex's channel. Was it on Alex's channel? Okay. Or, no, maybe, but, well, uh, well, you know what? I don't know. It was filmed in Alex's office. I don't it's know. Always, it yes. Channel. Well, that was the other thing. I think, I think, if the ones that are filmed in Alex's office are on Jason's channel, they do all <laughs> these little sneaky things that if you're not really paying attention, I never know which channel. I never really pay attention to which channel it's on, but I do feel like. It has to be on both that he's done rants because yeah, it's unusual for him not to rant about. Yeah, <laughs> right. some point. yeah, this so. is true. Even the <laughs> video, they're trying to be positive. Like, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gears and bricks. I have my dad's police car, four twenty or six eleven. Where can I find pictures of the instructions? I can build it from a photo unless there is some secret part inside. Brickfactory.info. Yep. Brickfactory.info. But to print 
a set of instructions to keep with it is important to me. Oh, well, if you want to, unfortunately, as I found out when I was piecing together the uh, Schmidt and company, not a lot of thought went to the printability of some of these instructions. Can you print them for, cause a lot of them are listed on, um, uh, on the PDF. PDFs ones you can print. Or if they're the PDF of- and they're, and they're like the Lego instructions, but a lot of the vintage ones you can't print them. Are the those way... on? Is that one on Brickset, Joey? Which one? Um, four twenty. Four twenty. Yeah, R six eleven. Well, that one's. Oh, the police car. Duh. I mean, yeah, it's on here. As a as instructions, though. Does it have the link to the instructions? Um, uh, hang, uh, I'm trying. Uh, I don't see them. Oh, wait. Instructions. Uh, it just says brickinstructions.com. I'm going. That's another website, but I don't use it as often. I, I usually just go through Brickset. I just. Do you? Okay. Well, the, there's a. Um, hmm. That's pretty, yeah, there it is. Again, it's not like one that's conducive to printing on paper. Right. Because it's two-sided. Right. So where is Brick Factory? Let's see, 420. It should, oh, wait. I passed it already? I did. Yeah. There it is. So it's the exact same pictures. Yeah, so this is the thing. I think some of these websites they just they get them from brickfactory.info. Right, yeah. yeah. Is this the older one? The older website. I, I'd known about it longer than these other ones. That's why I always assume they get them from here. But I hate it when there's this one they take it and then they put their their stamp all over it. And I'm like that's Toys period. Thing. Yeah, Toys Period. I can't stand that website. They put their pick their stamp on everything. And I was like, that's not your original picture. To me, you shouldn't be able to do that. If it's not your picture, you shouldn't put your watermark on it. You are not right. going to believe this next comment. What? Oh, do I have to get my button ready? No. Okay. Blah. The homework, troublesome molds. Those hinge plates with different teeth counts. I simply <laughs> eyeball them where I think one was oblong versus the other is round. So hard to count those teeth. I tell you one thing, he knew about it before I did. I know. <laughs> I just found out about it today. That we're filming this. I didn't even know. So. Yeah, if, if we wouldn't have looked at that earlier, we would have been scratching our head trying yeah. to figure out What's what he, he was talking, talking about? about. What part is that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Matt Dover. Jabo, why do you keep the Tyco bricks when you get them? Sorry if you have said before, but I'm an A-fool and can't remember. <laughs> so I think in one of your videos, you always toss the Mega Blocks, but you always keep the Tyco. Because uh, I wasn't sure what pieces I was missing from my telephone. Telephone. Okay. I have the Tyco telephone. Okay. Well, there you and go. I have a, yeah, and I ha- yeah. See, at Matt Dover, that should have been a hashtag bat. <laughs> Hashtag Matt, yes. Uh, Mrs. Brick on Brick. I don't buy sets without gift with purchases anymore or double points. I did not get the Houses of the World. $250 buy-in for something I built myself, and they aren't even mini figure scale. Yeah, that's... Uh, speaking of that, did you see what Jason unco- thinks he uncovered about the Ninjago mini build? Yeah, that's crazy. Gonna be VIP points. Oh, the sixty seven hundred or something. Wow, yeah, they, yeah, they can keep it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a lot. And he was doing the dollar man. He can do it in his head real quick. Or sixty five hundred is. That's yeah. He, it's like fifty dollars. Yeah, he's yeah. He's like yeah, a, it's fifty dollars in points, but to get fifty dollars in points, you got to spend how much? And that's what Alex he Alex jumped right in. And, <laughs> yeah, you got to spend at least thirty five dollars. Well, to, I, 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 oh, to get oh, you you're talking about how many? How much would you have had to spend to have fifty dollars in points? Right, right, right. 
Yeah. These things are going to be like $1,000 and yeah. it's all said and done. Yeah. To get all four <laughs> of them. And then Alex is like, and then on top of that, you can only get one at a time and you got to buy something to redeem your code. Your points. Yep. Well, I, he is a true land member. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a, he's a, uh, he's he the does, only land member I follow. Yep. He's yeah. not a, yeah. he is definitely not drinking the Kool-Aid. He's drinking <laughs> the Mountain Dew. <laughs> I'm telling you, he only rants on Jason's channel. <laughs> yeah, it's possible. It's very possible. Uh, let's see. Mayo. Mayo says, I don't have bricks to sort, but I have Ikea tables to build and many figs from brick mention to put away. Yep. Instead of talking about the current news, you do five-minute crafts. I mean segments. <laughs> Use the DeLorean or Bill and Ted's police phone box to travel back to 1968 and act like the popular sets from 1968 to 2023 are brand new. Kind of like when Jabo pretended it was 1977 in some old videos. Call it time travel news or something and choose a vault set from that same year. Make a countdown series, especially like the bracket. Food for thought. Yeah, I know. I have vintage places I could go that it would require effort. That's <laughs> not another. That's not a our, one of our strong suits effort. Yeah. <laughs> uh, was that uh, Fiverrton gal saying hi? Uh, By the way, Fiverrton gal said no, hi today to that's, everybody. That's work, hi. actually. Uh oh. Tell him I'll call him right back. Uh oh. Work? Did he say work? He said work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, let's see. Gary Squirrel. Squirrel. I don't like Lego. Oh, no, I love it. <laughs> I don't know if anyone will get that reference. Was 10cc Deadlock Holiday a hit in the, U in the U.S.? Well, it was probably had another name in the U.S., so I don't know what exactly what that is. 10cc. Oh, and did then, I? Send, I sent y'all the thing. What today is? What today? Oh, National Lego Day. National Lego Day. The day that we filmed this was National Lego Day. Do I need you to show buy that? rare? In what was it? Rare in? Hang on, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get there. I'm, I'm not real good at this. It was hilarious though. Da -da -da. <laughs> Build your collection with these rare and iconic sets. Yes. <laughs> On eBay. It's eBay's national. So is it really National Lego Day? What nation is it? <laughs> is it an eBay thing? Is it a worldwide thing? Or is it just the United States? That I, I really want to know. Yeah. What, what's, what and nation? Why is two sets that are currently available rare and iconic? Because they're expensive. <laughs> I would go if I wanted to buy those sets. I would not go to eBay to buy them. <laughs> no. if you're buying them on eBay. You're crazy. <laughs> you're, you're either buy, paying too much for them, or you're buying a knockoff. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't statement. get it. I don't. <laughs> uh, Aaron Gore. Oh my! You touched. You touched on the scanning for point in that little survey they put in. Can Lego please start paying attention to this podcast? <laughs> it's annoying and I don't care. I just want the points. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think they've not really there's certain things I do like about insiders. I don't like calling them insiders. I'm like Joe, I want to call them VIP. But there's so many things they've not, I don't know. I don't know what their their in game is with it, but it could be such a better program. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. All right. So our our update counts. The finale is still leading with 168, but I feel like the space train is gaining. You think so? I be. need to write these numbers down because from week to week, I don't know what's changed. So, so episode 35 <laughs> has 168. Episode 70 has 143. Episode 69 has 137. Alex has 132. We got a few more approaching a hundred too. Yeah. Uh, Maybe. Uh, Pringles, Pringles, Doritos, Doritos. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Twizzlers, 
Twizzler, sweet tart. Oh, oh, I had to. Um, no. My, my, I took my. I have a truck that I drive at work. It's a Ford Transit. You know what Ford stands for? Uh, <laughs> I own two, but yes. Oh, sorry. Found on the road dead. Yeah. Fix or repair daily. Yeah. So um, it, I took it in for what they call PM, where they're going to change oil. They do it all in-house. Mm -hmm. And so that I would not be without a truck long, I took it down there myself. And then they come back and say, um, you need a catalytic converter and your traction something is off. Or something was off. Like the uh, any like break thing. Uh, yeah. yeah ABS. Yeah. They said, we're going to have to send it to the dealership. And I'm like, Oh, okay. So I spent the rest of the day trying to get a truck. I get a truck. It's a brand new truck, but it's like 10 times bigger. It's one of these big Chevy trucks. And the guy that it, it was his truck, I think is going to retire. But I, when I got in it, this is the whole point of the story. I opened up the, I was looking for the gas card because I needed to put gas in it. Right. And I didn't know where he kept his gas card and I opened up his console. He had hot tamales. Oh. <laughs> and I love hot tamales. And I'm like, Oh, oh, man. I, do, I don't want, I'm in somebody else's truck. I don't want to eat this hot tomato. <laughs> but I want to eat. <laughs> so there, there's your snack, a long story to get to snack food. Snack food. Yep. <laughs> Heather eats hot tamales too all the time. I used to. I can't. I, I was going to say, you, you probably have a I'm afraid to. Yeah. I would say. Yeah. Okay. No. Are we through all of the. We've lost her all to work. work or I'm sorry. I'm, I'm still here. I'm still here. I, I told him to text me because I couldn't talk to him. So now I'm uh. answering his text. Um, so, yeah. How many videos have I posted where I was filming a video and I got called while I was filming? Oh, man. There's your homework. How many times has that happened to Jabbo? <laughs> like, I wish I had a better log of things. Like, like there's things I know that happened in a video. And then there's things I think happened in a video. <laughs> like I know I've I've posted things where I got called. Oh yeah. yeah, but yeah. There, there's other things, statements I've made that I go back and I'm like, oh, I didn't actually make that video. I'm like, I oh, know I made it. I'm pretty sure I made a video on the set. And then I go and oh, there is no video on the set. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't know, we're we're trying to drag this out here. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we we have we we have three minutes to kill. Oh, you know what? The survey. Oh, yeah. see, we even talked about. It. <laughs> I gotta uh, look at the notes. Y'all thought like, we were gonna forget. Oh, uh, we. About you were to, right. Yeah, I gotta find it first. Let's see, I gotta go to my web page. Oh, mine. Is it the? Um, you have you ever me. bought a Lego set? You didn't want just to get the free gift. Yeah, Is that the survey? Parts. Yeah, that was a survey. Did you post it, Joey? <laughs> uh, the last one that's <laughs> the last one's up is how many Lego trains do you have? Oh, <laughs> so you didn't no, post it. Didn't <laughs> <laughs> so the new survey is. <laughs> is that the show note? Did I not do that? <laughs> Will we not talk about the survey? Oh, uh, yeah. Will we remember the survey, but forget to post it. <laughs> Have you ever bought Will we a Lego? Post it and forget to talk about it. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. I'll put it up this time. All right. So uh, I, I, I bought the. the oh no! I did. Po I know what. I sorry. I did post this one. And it got, it disappeared. I did know because I posted this one. And I had typed it all in and it disappeared and it was late or early and I didn't ever go, I didn't go back. Mm. I don't remember what happened, but it was, I remember posting it and it, when I went to look like after I saved it or whatever, it didn't come back up and I was too tired to retype. You broke the anymore. community guidelines. I may have, who knows what I typed. Um, Cause it was, I was tired. So I'm it's yeah. Who knows? So you're going to repost it. I'll repost it. I mean, it, it's yeah. still, they, they just had today. Today. I think it's the last day for the little gift with purchase for uh double VIP, which the gift with purchase is not exciting, but it's only an $80 spend. It's not a 
two hundred dollars to get. Right. And you get double V, double VIP. So I got the two Spider Man sets. Oh. You know, I bought the uh, Spider Man bus, but then I'm like, oh, I'll pay too much for that. Because you know it's going to be like fifty something dollars at some point. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's, that's now. exactly what they were talking about. I mean, if it wasn't Spider Man, I probably would have waited. But I kind of yeah. been waiting on the Spider Man one since the since the what one came out first? Car- Carnage or Venom? Carnage, I thought. Yeah. yeah. Carnage or Venom, whichever. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's I I uh, I can't can't find anything else to buy right now. I have it saves me money because yeah. even with double VIP, I'm not seeing things I want to buy. Yeah, I know. Right. I know the free back I VIP. Wanna, <laughs> We're gonna the do it things single I want to buy are, are expensive, so I'm kind of waiting for a reason to buy them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well. We officially hit two hours. Yeah, thank you for watching the A Food pos- podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, it, yeah. This is a. I, I never had so many comments. So I know a lot of you are thinking about these variants. Yeah, let us know in the comments below your thoughts on this. I think it is. You know, well, we already talked about it, so I don't need to talk about it again. But we'll be back in a couple of weeks to talk about something else. So in the meantime, be sure you subscribe to all of us. Mm-hmm. We're, we're always here. Yep. And if you didn't like it, uh, your variant will be pruned. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you. See you guys. <laughs>